Welcome back to Tara's Traveling Paints. I uh, just got done with the painting. I just, I'm uploading the video right now. It's pretty beautiful. I'm happy. Um, I scraped all the paint off the table, which is cobalt blue, metallic, uh, light blue, pewter, glacial blue, and midnight blue. And some violet and white. I scraped it in here and I decided to leave it a dirty cup. I'm hoping you can see it because I'm going to do a dirty pour. I haven't done one of these in a minute. Yeah, you can kind of see it. See if I can get it closer to you. Yeah, there you go. Um, and I'm like, what am I going to paint on? I did want to go downstairs and look for paintings that I want to um, paint over. I just didn't feel like doing that right now. So, I, you know, I look over to my box of stuff that I need to have in the art room that I should be putting away, and I see a set of these um, burner covers that I bought to make a project, make a Lazy Susan, but it didn't work with this. It didn't work with these. Um, it works better with the um, nine-inch cake pans. So, I said, why can't I paint on this? Why? Because I don't like that. What am I going to use it for? So I took 220 grit uh, sanding block and I scraped it up because it's super shiny. And I decided I'm going to do a dirty pour on this. See what happens. Oh, I better make sure my... I also wiped it down with 91% alcohol to um, be sure that there was no dust left. So let me get some of these guys ready to rumble. I'm gonna go over the top. That looks good. Okay. Woo! Scary. Uh, so let me do a dirty pour first and see if I have a more. Or maybe not a dirty. I'm just gonna. It's a dirty mixture. Gonna go straight at first. Okay, I'm gonna save some of that because I have more of them. And I'm gonna spin it. Cause this maybe just the pillow paint. We'll see. So it's got all the colors that I just worked with in it. Hmm. I want it to go over the edges. So I may have to uh, put a glove on. How's everybody doing today? It's Tuesday. Yeah. Tuesday it is. Because you can paint on anything. Pretty much. Wood you gotta be super careful with because you need to seal it. Sand and seal. Okay, it just looks like one spot. Excuse me. All right. So, now that we got that done, 
I want to swipe, I think. Yeah, I do. So, well, first let me hit it with some flashbacks. Okay, I, I want to swipe in here because I really like this, the darker colors. And, um, let's go ahead and Okay, so it's midnight blue, cobalt, and light blue. And some black cell activator. Need more cell activator. I want to work this side of it now. Coming through here, so bear with me. practice left. Interesting surface to work on, that's for sure.
is interesting. Huh. I don't know. I do feel like it's something I'd have to wait, see dry before I make a decision. I don't feel like it's something I should scrape. I think there's probably something here that will make me happy. I'm just not seeing it yet. Get a big giant cell out of nowhere, which is pretty cool. I don't know, guys. I don't like it. I don't. I don't know what to do about it. Wow, I'm sitting here waiting a long time thinking about this. I don't like it. This is just, I don't think I'm ever going to like it. I guess rather than just scraping the paint off, I think I should paint over it right now. So, bear with me. Here she comes again. Getting close to time for the DOG to tear her feet up, I guess. Poor thing. She can't, she just can't handle not playing. It freaks her out. And she needs her exercise. And even though we go for walks, they're, they're just basic walks. I don't go hiking with her right now because, well, I think. Hunting season is done, but that was freaking cold. So we gotta play. All right, well, you know, like that is very beautiful. It's just too muted for me, you know me. I can't do muted too much. Got some nice muted pieces that I love, but most of it is not something that I want. All right. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to stack a cup with my leftovers here. on top of the pewter. So yeah, this would not be something that I would uh, Uh, epoxy and use as an actual because I, I just don't think anybody really has those kind of stoves anymore and people that do these usually don't fit so it's just gonna be art on metal and that's what's up cute how I decide things at the last second. It's going to be a flip cut. <laughs> but it literally was last second. I was going to bring for it. And I'm like, no. Flip it. Flip it like a Polaroid picture. I want her to move on her own really badly. That's why I put the holes in instead of just lifting her. I don't know if she's going to do it on her own. feeling about this one. Aren't you glad that I decided to keep going? I know I am so far. Spin it out a little bit. Lots of paint on this girl. that darkness. <sighs> Look at the eye. Can you even handle that? Stop. Oh, it's probably not going to stay. It'll probably disappear. That is so cool. Got some pretty cells coming in. This is definitely more my flavor. That's about as muted as I like it to get. And I wish that eyeball would stay. I, I, I do have to say, guys, the likelihood of it sticking around is really small. I can try to stop it, but I don't think it's going to. Oh, 
so cool. Let's put some more fire on it. May have stopped it. We won't know till the morning, though. Or maybe even the afternoon. <sighs> Gonna bring you in for a closer look. Thank you so much for hanging out with me and bearing with me. I don't normally just paint over a painting like that, like that. So I usually wait until it's dry to make a final decision, but I couldn't feel it. I just couldn't feel it. I could not see that working out. This, I could see working out. As a matter of fact, there's more I could do to it, but I don't, I like this composition and it made cells and you don't have to have cells and everything. Cause I gotta bring the little lover out cause she's getting sad because I haven't brought her out except for to go potties. She needs her exercise. Thinking of getting her boots, see if she'll tolerate it. Because if she needs to play, she needs to play. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's get in there. Love that so much. I love it. If we could just keep that eyeball. I think it's awesome. I can't wait to put some fasteners on it and hang it on a wall. <laughs> Thank you so much for hanging out with me, guys, and I'll see you soon. Maybe later. I don't know.